Sir, by virtue of by virtue of Article 87 of the Constitution of India, it is the responsibility of Her Excellency the President of India to make an address to the joint session of the Parliament. Sir, we are thankful to the Honourable President of India in coming to this house and addressing the joint session, but we are having strong reservations about the contents of the speech, which is around 51 minute speech, having 30 paragraphs. Sir, Mr. Chairman, sir, as I rightly pointed out that this is a newly constituted house, that is of 18th Lok Sabha. This is the first presidential speech in the 18th Lok Sabha. I have to say it is quite unfortunate to say that the presidential speech was totally disappointing because the cardinal, essential, very important, serious concerns and the most important political issues such as the irregularities in the premier competitive examinations and also the high rocketing price rise due to the inflation and third, the uncontrolled growth of unemployment and the economic inequality and the attack on the minorities and Dalits and the social justice, all these very important political, genuine public issues have not been addressed in the presidential speech because it is the first presidential speech of the 18 Lok Sabha. We have expected a lot. It is quite unfortunate to say that it is totally disappointing. Sir, what is the purpose of this uh, presidential speech or presidential address to the joint session of the House? To declare the programs and policies of the government to be pursued in the coming years or the coming year. But the 51-minute speech consisting of 30 paragraphs, if we examine, it is only a merely a political statement of the government regarding the so-called achievements of the government during the last 10 years. It is absolutely misinterpreting the speech of Sri Rahul Gandhi. Everybody knows that what he has spelt out in the debate is that BJP and RSS are not following the Hindu ethics and the customs and traditions of the Hindu because Hindu philosophy is intolerant philosophy of Ahimsa and uh, all intolerance and all these things but BJP and RSS is not following the path of Hinduism that was the observation he has made how can it be authenticated and further you have to see that the Prime Minister including the Prime Minister six cabinet ministers have intervened during the debate during the speech of Sri Rahul Gandhi that is never even heard of it the Prime Minister two times have intervened and the Sri Amit Shah Ji, Kitana, how many times he have intervened? So that means they are still, they are very much afraid of Rahul Gandhi's speech. Why should they are so intolerant? As far as the rules and procedure is concerned, okay, they can very well examine, they can very well explain. But how can they misinterpret the speech and misquoting it in a different way outside, uh, inside and outside the house? And making a furor, that, making an impression that Rahul Gandhi has spoke against the Hindu community. We, are, we, are, we were also there. So it's absolutely a misinterpretation of the speech made by Sri Rahul Gandhi. So as to, they have made it deliberately to get the political gains out of the religion. Because always BJP is believing in divisive political agenda. So that divisive political agenda on the basis of the communal lines, they want to have this thing. So far, they are just misquoting and misinterpreting the speech of the Rahul Gandhi. And uh, why should he apologize? See, how many speeches in the parliament, who is making authentication of all the speech and all the allegations? If making any specific allegation against any particular individual, definitely they can claim that that has to be authenticated. He has made, made no corruption allegation against anybody. So everybody, the speech has to be authenticated means that every time in the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, the time will be only for authentication. No, it, we won't get the time for the debate. So it is quite natural to make the political points in the House that too immediately after the election and also discussion on the presidential address, definitely politics will come. You have to be tolerant to hear the speech and listen voice of the opposition. Instead of that, intolerances from the part of the treasury benches, including the prime minister and six cabinet ministers, uh, intervened in the debate in the speech of uh, Sri Rahul Gandhi, means why should Rahul Gandhi apologize?